All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about image affine transform in OpenCV using Python. So start off with what is image affine transform? Why do we need it? How does it work? And then go into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we'll be able to see how to warp an image to turn it into like this that we see right here on the right. So what is image affine transform? Uh, basically it's a linear mapping and it preserves straight lines and a ratio of distances. So if you look in the image here, uh, this, this um, structure here, you can see the parallel line is preserved. So that's one benefit of it. You can see here as well, these two lines are still parallel. Uh, but the thing that changes is position, orientation, and scale. These things can change. So as you can see, obviously the cat's face has been kind of uh, squished a little bit, right? So different things are changing. You can see there's some rotation going on here, um, but the linear mapping preserve these parallel lines. So why do we need image affine transform? Uh, sometimes you may have special image registration cases where you want to um, align different things by warping it this way. It could be for image rectification. So for camera calibration purposes, maybe initially the image was warped and you want to unwarp it. So for calibration, um, these two are kind of similar, but you could just do it purely for warping or morphing the image without um, needing it for camera calibration. So how does image affine transform work? Uh, it's very similar to the previous concepts we talked about where there's a transformation matrix here that we multiply it with. Uh, the main thing here now is um, this matrix here you could find, um, we won't go into too much of the math for it, but you need to have three pairs of corresponding points. So with the three pairs of points, we could find this mapping matrix that allows us to map between um, some initial set of points to the final points. And then you just take this um, mapping matrix and multiply it with all the pixels to get your new pixels, okay? So let's go into the coding for this. Okay, so as usual, we're gonna import the modules that we need, import OS, import CV2 as CV, import numpy as MP, import matplotlib.py plot as PLT. And then the function that we're gonna call um, in this example is gonna be called affine transform. And then we have our if name uh, equals main. And then we're gonna call our affine transform function. So inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and read our file that we've been using, get CWD, and then get our image path. It's gonna be os.path.join, and then root, and it's in demo images, uh, cute pick onejpeg And we're gonna go ahead and read the image, so cv.umread, and then pass in the path, okay? So once we pass in the path, um, we're gonna do some color conversion because we're gonna use um, the matplotlib. So we have cv.cvt uh, color and then pass an image and cv.color and then it's bgr to, uh, actually bgr to rgb, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and read in our height and width for our image. then we want to create some points. So P1 is, so these points I have pre-selected, but um, you could go ahead and choose it by yourself by first plotting the image and then seeing which points you want. So um, just pre-select the points to make it a little bit faster. So I have 900, 100, 900. And then with this function, you actually need to specify the data type, which here I'm using uh, MP float 32. And then we have P2 is MP.array. So now we're gonna choose a new set of points, which is 50, 150. And then we're gonna have 900. Basically these will be the destination points where I want the new points to be. I'm gonna do 150 by 800. So after you define the start and end points in the two images, you could now create your transformation matrix with a cv.get affine transform. 
So here you just pass in the two set of points we call P1 and P2. And then your transformed image will be um, done using the warp affine function. And that you pass in your image, your transformation matrix, and your output width and height of your image. So now we want to do some plotting. So plt.figure for plotting. So we create our figure and then we plt.subplot. So one, two, one. And then plt. We want to see the before and after image. And then we could go ahead and do plt. Subplot. This is our second image. And in our second image, we're gonna do um, show our transform. Okay. And then finally, we could do plt. Show. Okay. So this should show our before and after image. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so I just need to add in this data type here that I missed out. Once I add that in, if I run it, it should be working properly. So now you can see my image has been warped, right? And you could go ahead and check the corresponding points I chose by hovering your cursor. So notice when I hover my cursor, actually, let me zoom out a little bit. If I hover the cursor, you can see in the bottom right corner of this image is a pixel location. So you could go ahead and verify those points for yourself. So yeah, here you have your transfer image. And if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.